Hi there. Is it possible for someone to become rich in one year? Do you believe you can make good amount of money within one year? That's what I want to discuss in this video. Yes, it is very possible. That's why I'm making this video to share with you a plan through which you could look to jump into for you to be able to make good amount of money within one year to the extent that you feeling you have sufficient to cater for all your basics, even have some spare for you to partake in leisure and most importantly, have other money for you to be able to invest because it is true investment that a person can be able to build sustainable wealth out there. You are all much welcome to the Money Daily YouTube channel. My name is Afagza Sifuna. And by the way, if you love content around making money, investing, business ideas, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Subscribe because I'm out here bringing you awesome videos on these topics each and every day. And also you'll still add it, drop a like on this video. Thanks for that. So before even I share with you this roadmap which has five steps in it, I want to give a disclaimer. You all need to understand making money is not a walk in the park. Of course, for a start, you're going to really need to work very hard to have a solid plan for you to be able to even dream about making sustainable money. That's why I'm making this video to assist you with the planning phase and even so to give you the initial ideas about areas you could look to pursue for you to be able to make money. The end goal is actually to make money to the point whereby you are comfortable. Of course, people out here say people are rich essentially because they are comfortable, they are able to handle their basic very well, have some form of luxury also enjoyed and actually they have the good amounts of money for them to also invest. That's why you need to go to for you to be able to have that much elusive financial freedom. At the underlying of all this is you need to work very hard, you need to work very smart for you to be able to build on this and even so sustain. It won't be a walk in the park but if you can be able to follow it to the latter, chances are you're going to be in a much better financial situation than you were a year before. The very first thing which you need to pursue and actually pursue with all the keenness is you rearranging your personal life. What I mean is that actually you don't need to offset your relationships. It's just a matter of you rearranging your personal life to ensure you are utilizing your time most optimally. Look at these guys. You could be broke, but every day you wake up in the morning, you spend half a day on social media as a consumer, not as a creator. In other words, consuming what the world is giving you. A good bunch of it is useful and also a good chunk of it is also useless. Point blank. It's only, it's only for your eyes. What people are saying out there, gossip and so forth. But this half a day you're spending on social media, maybe you could have used it for other things out there. For example, learning something. For example, creating something and so forth. I'm talking about you being very intentional about how you rearrange your personal life to the extent that you have sufficient time for all the essentials. Whether it is exercising, you interacting with your family, you learning, you being a creator and so forth. This is what is going to assist you have time to be able to pursue what is going to be able to give you money over time. A good number of people out there are trapped in a situation whereby yes, they don't have money, but also they are wasting a good chunk of their days. And I'm saying so because all of us out here have 24 hours in any given day, right? If you don't utilize these 24 hours pretty well, your competition out there is utilizing them very, very well. And that's why your competition out there is ahead of you, assuming all other factors are constant. So plan your personal time very well for you to be able to have your affairs in order and most importantly, even create a good schedule for yourself. Because through having a good schedule is going to give you the discipline for you to be able to pursue what really is going to assist you make money. Most of the times it isn't the most fun of things, but you need to pursue those for you to be able to have a plan and most importantly, work towards making money. And then second thing, which also won't be easy per se, is you creating a high value skill. What do I mean? We have skills out there, but only a small segment of skills out there are high value skills. For example, someone perfecting the art of negotiating, someone perfecting the art of selling, someone perfecting the art of data analysis and visualization. These are some of the highest high valuable skills out there. If you can be able to create and actually refine these high value skills out there, it's going to set you on that particular road towards making money. As opposed to just being a consumer, whereby, for example, you wake up in the morning, you watch YouTube videos for half of a day or even the whole day, Netflix and chill. Yes, these are good pastime activities, but spend time in creating and actually refining high value skills 
which actually is sought after out there. For example, you could be having a camera in the house. Why not spend time to understand how photography works, how videography works, and most importantly, practice, refine that particular skill so that in case you get even a simple of jobs out there, this particular output is gonna speak for you because you're gonna do very stellar work, the kind of work which is gonna call for more people out there to come and tap into your talents and abilities. That's how people out there create a value pipeline through which people are looking for them and they are actually paying money for them to be able to assist them even with the thinking, with analysis, and assist them with selling out there. Develop high value skills through which you're gonna be able to turn these skills to money-making ventures, okay? And then the third step and third way through which you can be able to also pursue the interest of making money or even becoming rich over time is you learning investing. I said it, guys. Investing is a process. Investing is a learning journey. You need to learn investing and most importantly, start investing at a small scale. Because it is true that particular investing, whether it is $100, $200, $500, or even $10, that you're going to be able to practice what you've learned. Learn the basics of investment. For example, understand how markets out there work. Understand what are different verbal investments someone can put down their money on. For example, in case you have 100 k what investment can you put down your money on? For example, in case you have 1 k what investment can you put down your money on? For example, in case you have $100, what investment can you invest in? Learn the ropes of investment. And this is going to call for you to be very, very curious, for you to stay up to par with current affairs. But in the long term, all this is going to compound towards you making informed investment decisions. And most importantly, know what to do in case even your investment is not working as it should be working. So learn about investing and also take time to start investing even though in small chunks of money. And hopefully over time, you're going to be able to master the art of investing and be able to see how to scale up your investment and actually scale up your money in your course. And then the fourth step and actually another important thing which you need to actually invest in is you building proper value connections. At the end of the day, guys, they normally say your net worth is your network. There is some truth to that because it is your network which is going to show you ways with regards to making money. It is your network which is going to show you new opportunities out there. So invest in building valuable connections out there. Of course, these connections need to be anchored on fundamentals. You can't just, for example, walk to someone and tell them, I want you to become my friend. No, it never works like that. It's going to be maybe from a given area of interest. It can be, for example, from you assisting them solve a given problem. So ensure you build your skills. Ensure you start even learning about investing for you to be up to par with the to current affairs. And through this, you're going to also gravitate towards building high value networks. Those kind of networks which are, which are thinking the way you are thinking. They are thinking about the future. They are thinking about making money. They are thinking about prosperity. Ensure you build yourself, have a very good plan. Also, learn the basic of skills, learn investing, start up to par with current affairs out there, and you're going to start gravitating towards high value networks, those kind of people out there who are thinking like you. And in a few uh, in a few years, you're going to, all of you, be moving things in different directions out there, in different sectors. But you're going to stay in touch so that you continue, continuously continue sharing insights with each other and most importantly, even invest together. Invest in this and in multiple years, these are going to be your investment friends out there. They're going to be your valuable and fellow millionaires out there. They're going to be your fellow billionaires out there and you're going to continue working towards changing the world and realizing your wealth dreams together. And then the fifth and last thing I want to share with you is that guys, given you are in a journey, you need to understand one thing. Some things might work, others might not work. So the goal is for you to rinse and repeat. Simple as that. The fifth and last thing is rinse and repeat. If something is working, ensure you repeat what is working. If something is not working, ensure you drop that. And over time, you're going to develop a set of things which are working, both in your personal sphere, in interacting with other people out there, and also in investing. These are going to really assist you in the long term for you to be able to build wealth, for you to be able to become what they call rich out there. Ensure you reach and repeat. What is working, continue holding on to that. What is not working, learn as soon as you can and drop that off. And hopefully over time, you're going to be able to become a beast at making money, growing money, and most importantly, becoming rich to the level you want to become rich. What do you all think about these ideas, these steps? 
I hope you've gotten one or two which are exciting and you look forward to jump on it for you to be able to work towards becoming rich or making good amounts of money for you to be able to become comfortable and also invest in different areas out there. Thanks a lot for watching. I will first share with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye and you all take care.